The light bulb was yesterday. LED is today. Many LED lamps look like ordinary light bulbs on the outside, but they only use about one-tenth of the energy. Compared to energy-saving bulbs, LEDs reach their maximum brightness the moment they're turned on, and they last longer. The market for innovative lighting is huge, and customers are just now discovering the uses of glowing semiconductors. Dimming lamps with an app is no problem. And while smartphones capture special moments, app-controlled LEDs will someday provide the mood lighting for photos displayed in the home. The innovative lamps are efficient and entertaining. LED lighting is serious business at the Zeidel Company in Marburg. A bandsaw takes apart a commercially available LED retrofit with an E27 screw base. LEDs often come in standard bulb sizes, so they're compatible with conventional lighting. But the similarities stop there. Inside the LED bulbs, there are the semiconductors, a number of electronic components, and a variety of heat dissipation elements. These components are often glued together inside the bulb. Technicians in Marburg have analyzed a wide variety of LED lamps. They've found a mixture of materials with no optimal design and an overall system that does not lend itself to recycling. In addition, the workmanship and construction of the lamps show no signs of industrial assembly. Engineers in the mid-sized company's development department are designing an innovative LED lamp that will be able to compete on the global market. Their goal is to produce LED lamps on an industrial scale while conserving raw materials. In order to save resources and achieve fully automated production, the engineers are working on a brand new lamp design. Aside from the electronics, engineers are reducing the number of materials to just a few elements such as plastic and aluminum. The new LED lamp will consist of only seven components, including the electronic parts, two aluminum bodies, the light dome, and screw base. The components can be plugged into each other, further reducing material use. Glue and soldering tin are no longer needed. The new LED lamp is around 60% lighter than comparable products. We want to show that mass production in Germany is possible, especially when we develop and embrace the concept with resource efficiency as our guide. At the Zeidel Company's Marburg location, some 650 employees manufacture aluminum design products for the international cosmetics industry. In 2014, Zeidel founded the Karus Company here to develop and manufacture LED products. The new company builds on Zeidel's experience with metal packaging. The cooling elements for the LEDs are made of deep-drawn aluminum. They require only about half the material needed for the cast aluminum heat sinks normally used to cool the LEDs. To estimate the potential material savings, Marburg engineers use a tool provided by Germany's Federal Environment Agency. The agency has developed a calculation matrix to quickly and simply calculate and quantify the environmental effects of pre-processing the given materials. That enables companies to carry out a simple life cycle assessment. 
Before any raw materials reach the factory, their production has already had an impact on the environment. Bauxite is the main source of aluminum. The aluminum ore is mined around the world, like at these mines in the Brazilian rainforest, where the proportion of aluminum oxide is more than 50%. That makes mining here especially profitable. After undergoing a special purification process, the bauxite is shipped by truck and freighter to aluminum refineries along the coast. Using a sodium hydroxide solution, the aluminum oxide from the bauxite is purified in a so-called buyer process. A large part of the raw material remains unused. It ends up as so-called red mud stored at depots near the refinery. The white aluminum oxide powder is then shipped out to industrialized nations for further processing. Here in these plants, pure aluminum is extracted from the oxide using electrolysis. A great deal of electricity is needed to power the electrodes. Using the Federal Environment Agency's calculation matrix, environmental impact can be estimated along the process chain. To produce one ton of aluminum, five tons of additional raw materials are needed. Materials such as bauxite, sodium hydroxide, or heavy oil. In addition, Producing one ton of aluminum requires more than 22,000 kilowatt hours of energy. That's the amount consumed by an average household in approximately six years. These figures are dramatically improved by the use of recycled materials. According to the Aluminum Industry Association, up to 35% of the aluminum used in Germany is made from recycled waste. The calculation matrix can help determine the exact raw material and energy requirements of every component of the LED lamps. That makes it possible to directly compare the environmental impact of various materials. In contrast to the makers of other lamps, the Marburg LED producers only use half the amount of aluminum, which is partially replaced by plastic. They also do without glue and other metals, reducing raw material use by 90% and energy use by 50%. The Karus company plans to mass produce more than 20 million LED lamps a year at the factory near Marburg. Since the production process greatly conserves resources, the company receives funding from the Federal Environment Ministry's Environmental Innovation Program. Along with production, efficient distribution can also benefit the environment. Most LEDs are imported from Asia, but the Karos company produces its lamps a short distance from potential customers. That makes long delivery routes a thing of the past. Engineers test the new lamps in their own light laboratory. The lamps produce a warm white light with a color temperature of 2,700 degrees Kelvin, similar to a light bulb. They also have a round 240 degree beam angle. To ensure a long lifespan, LED lamps shouldn't get too hot. The thermal imaging camera shows that the upper area with the light dome and the LEDs is cooler, and the heat is given off by the cooling elements. The lamps are also provided with an automatic dimmer function that slightly reduces the brightness if there's a danger of overheating. That extends the LED's lifespan. The company hopes that high quality and sustainability will win over customers. There's more concern about sustainability in Germany than anywhere else in the world. So I believe we can make an interesting offer to our customers. Until now, the Marburg company has produced packaging for the cosmetics industry. Since 2014, 
It also manufactures innovative LED lamps using a resource-efficient production process. With an expanding range of new products, the mid-sized German company is ready to compete on the global market.